Hello friends, welcome to the next session of AWS Beginner Sessions which we want to go uh, step by step just for you. In AIK IT Support channel and this is Joy Banerjee from AIK IT Support. Okay, so let's start. So before we jump into AWS next session, I just want to let you know there is one more package which you want to really install and that will be really helpful in managing AWS and doing the other stuff okay so that is Sigwin which we want to install so you can see um, that there is AWS and um, why a Dropbox icon is there so what happened is yesterday I have just bought a premium service of Dropbox because my whole laptop got crashed and um, now due to that I was looking for a solution on which I can keep my data safe and I thought this is the only one which I can do and save my data so that's why I used <coughs> Dropbox and uh, I'm putting my all important data there and that is it okay so um, let me show you and let's jump into the, this particular video okay so now you can see I have opened a website which is called sigwin.com so what it does is it is going to give you an environment on which you can run Linux commands okay and that will be in future is going to be very beneficial for you in case you use um, or want to connect to our EC2 instances uh, which are Linux based from your Windows machine okay so for that what you need to do is you need to pick a proper version and then install okay so I need to check that uh, you can see there is an option called 64 bit or 32 bit here so I need to check which version is suitable for my operating system so for that what you need to do you need to go to start or you need to hit Windows R and then you need to type MS info 32 here okay so this will uh, this will open and let you know that system type you need to check the system type uh, in this case it is 64 bit operating system and it is a 64 bit hardware as well so what you need to do is you need to select and download the 64 bit operating system that I recommend in case you have 64 bit just go for 64 bit in case you have 32 bit just go for 32 bit version okay so in our case we will be going with 64 bit so I will select this and click this it will ask us to download I will save this and it will take a few minutes or a few seconds that is great so now I will start and open okay and it will ask me I will click run here click yes and now here we need to see and select few things here okay and click next okay and uh, uh, install from internet that is fine and click next here and it gives you a location on which it is going to create the Sigwin environment that means in inside this you will you will find out all the all the uh, binaries on which we will get a Linux environment here okay I will click next and local package directory is putting it here so what I can do is I can uh, create a separate uh, directory here okay I will delete this and <coughs> I will create a separate directory okay inside this uh, I will create a make folder here and I sig uh, sigwin okay uh, okay I will click ok here and I will click next okay uh, use the same uh, like proxy settings uh, if you have specific setting which you need to enter which we can use or use a direct uh, connection so we can use uh, like default as well as direct connection I will click next or use proxy, proxy settings that will be easy like use system proxy whatever the system settings are there it is going to use so I will click next <coughs> so it is going to give you uh, like what are the mirrors are available so what you can do is you can uh, add any of the Sigwin mirrors which you want to uh, add like you can add them like this and these are already available if you have anything uh, extra which you can uh, put here and hit add okay and click next here so it will start and do the installation
and now here we need to add few uh, few more packages which are in important okay okay so we need to add few more binaries here so I need to select full here okay and uh, I need to uh, type SSH okay we need to uh, set up SSH here so for that we need to select uh, uh, you need to go to this section and you will search for open SSH the open SSH server and client so you need to select this and I will select this and you can you need to make sure that this uh, binary is checked and next what you need to do is we need to also uh, have a utility uh, tool set on which we can have like telnet um, which which we may use in future so uh, I net unit type I net sorry I'm uh, I just misspell it is I net okay I net so in that you can see uh, the first one which you need to pick like common network clients and servers I need utilities and you need to select this okay and that's it you have selected two more binaries which are important and you can click next here okay and click next so it will download the package and it will it will complete the whole stuff so now you can see uh, the installation is complete so now we have two options like create uh, icon in the desktop or create uh, add it to start menu so I check both of them it's your choice which you want to keep which you want to uncheck so I will click finish here okay so now if you want to search you can you can type here like uh, CYG Sigwin and now you can see it is uh, there and you can right click and run as administrator okay click yes and now you can see it is opened here okay let me just uh, maximize this so if you want to just change the font if you see okay these are a uh, bit uh, um, small so what you can do is you can um, into the right into the bar at the top bar you can right click and choose options and then this window will open and select the test text here and you can select the font size uh, in my case I'm just picking up 12 that will be fine because I and in, in a way I will be doing some zoom as well for you guys so that you can see what the command I'm running okay so now you can see <coughs> So now you can see the Sigwin is installed, and now uh, if I run uh, like ls pwd, all the uh, command which uh, uh, we run in Linux, they are visible here. Okay. So um, if we do pwd, you can see we are in right now home, and if we go uh, cd uh, root, okay, and now if I do ls, now you can see um, all the <clears throat> all the all the uh, by, all the directories which are visible here right so if you if you I just want to just to make you aware that once we done we have done the installation uh, at that point of time uh, if we go to the C drive and there is a C uh, Sigwin 64 and in this this these are the folders got created which is giving you an environment in which it shows that you are in a Linux environment and you can run each and every command of Linux from this particular shell okay so this is it guys in this uh, video you have seen that how to really set up and uh, doing the basic uh, installation and the configuration of Sigwin which is going to help us in AWS uh, management and working with AWS platform in future so we will be using this Sigwin and I will show you how we can use it okay so thanks for watching this video hit the thumbs up uh, button like button and share subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get more videos like this and we'll be shooting out more videos from this particular channel don't want to uh, don't want you guys to miss out so please 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 subscribe and hit the comment if you want anything uh, which you want to really share up I will be happy to hear a word from you thank you very much and this is Joy Banerjee signing off from AIK IT Support.